But yeah, so... No... Homosexual relationships in the first or second game, but there is in the third game. Anyway, we'll, we'll, when we get to the third game, we'll get to the third game. Oh, well, well, there is a Liara. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yeah, I walked up here, didn't I? Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seems so rushed and high-strung. Liara changes so much in the, in the next two games. It's crazy. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. Yeah, so they just kind of throw themselves at you. The Lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? No subtlety. Um. Yeah. Okay. No, you were right. There is something between us. Not really. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, actually. <laughs> These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic. So dangerous. Uh, this, uh... I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You... I need some time. I don't know, she's really awkward. She's somewhat more likable in the second game. Actually, she's not really in the second game. Kind of, a little bit. She's more likable in the third game. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I really thought we didn't get this stuff until we did more main quest missions. Maybe I was wrong. Anyways, so we'll talk to them. And we're gonna have a relationship with Liara, yes. Mostly because of what happens, you know, in the second and third games. But, um, maybe it's kind of like cheating. Because you're not supposed to know this stuff at this point. Actually, let's talk to Presley. I wonder if he had anything to say. Yes, Commander? 
No, he doesn't. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's this? Oh, more experience. Let's see if Joker has anything to say. Commander, something you need? Uh, no, he I doesn't. I have to go. All right, see you. All right, maybe we can do the uh, the Garrus or Rex's side mission. Just looking at my watch here to see how much time I have left. I don't want to run out of hard drive space halfway through. All right. La family armor. Hmm. Argus Row. We haven't been to Argus Row yet, but we have been to. Uh, where's this? The Kepler Verge. All right. Let's let's go back to the. Actually, let's just finish going through this uh, cluster, and then we go back to Kepler Verge and we do the Garrus mission. Uh, let's see, Ming and Han. Yeah, all right. If you don't know, Ming and Han are Chinese dynasties. So a lot of these names are based on history or or mythology. Some of it is made up mythology, as in you know. Asari or you know Turian history and stuff like that. Let's just look through all this stuff. Nope, nothing there. And I guess we have to land on this planet. Level one cold hazard. Actually, if we may, if we play through the main quest, it might make more sense the relationship with Liara, because you know she's uh, she plays a role in the oh, Syndicate Hideout. She plays a role in the story, and she makes more sense. Because right now we haven't done anything with her yet. We're just kind of wandering around these planets looking for stuff. But yeah, we've, when we play through the story, it might make a little bit more sense why Shepard and Liara actually becomes closer if I can get the Mako to actually go towards where I'm okay to go towards where I want to go is this where I'm going? no this is something else ah interesting now where is this mineral patch? there it is if I can get out. Level 2 hazard. Let's try and get through this quickly. Before we freeze. Alright. There's also a question mark there, you see that? On the map? What's that about? That's not on the map too, look at that. Huh. But it's actually a thing. Oh, that sucks. Let me um, save that. There's an artifact here, but it's not on the map. Now I'm wondering if there's stuff I've missed. Oh, I don't really want to go there. I want to go that way to get the other thing. Although I guess I can go to that afterwards. Alright, let's, let's go this way first. Because there's a syndicate hideout this way. And that looks like a thrash of more territory, to be honest. Let me save again. Alright, syndicate hideout is just across these plains. Thrash of moors usually hang out on flat ground. Huh. There's turrets up there. How do I get up there though? Not from this side. Yeah, there's turrets up there. And 
we can probably drive up this slope. Alliance heavy turret. Oh crap, I'm getting shot at. I'm sure I can tag these. Yeah, there we go. Um, hmm, all right. Where's, oh wait, it's on the other side. Please don't freeze to death. Hey, we get to test out the new rifle. It's the Spectre rifle. This thing. This thing, yes. No loot here. There should be a lot of enemies through here. Wake up! Why am I? That's weird. Uh, surprise! Oh, he's not dead yet. There we go, surprise. I really shouldn't walk in here, it's kind of dangerous. There's a guy walking around here. Come on, come on through. Come on through. Wow, explosions. Don't walk away, don't walk away. Don't walk away. Okay, I need to get out of here. Okay, I need to get out of here. Alright, let's back up a little bit. That wasn't really what I wanted. So there's Krogans in here. Hmm. That could be a problem. Let me... Let me... Nope, there's nothing there. There's a lot of guys just around the corner there. Oh look, snipers. He's dead. I will destroy you! No, you won't. I will destroy you! I'm on it! No, you won't. I will destroy you! Come back! No, he's the boss. Wow. Hey, come back! Uh, there's a guy... ...somewhere. I don't know what just happened. But apparently the crime boss is dead. Alright, here we go. And one more guy. One dead. Nice. Alright, so Helena is... All clear. Yeah, so now we can go back to the Citadel and talk to Elena, if we really... Actually, I think we can actually find him. Hold on. I don't think we should go to the Citadel. Let me just check this. I think what they want us to do... Yeah, in the Fortuna system. In the Horsehead Nebula. Yeah, we don't actually go to the Citadel to find her. We actually find her in her base. Anyway, we'll see what happens there when we get there. No spoilers. And avoid the spoilers. Even though I've been giving out spoilers all this time. Uh, doesn't seem to be loot here. Let's check it out back. So this gun's amazing. High damage, high accuracy. And, you know, if I had been buying the other stuff with my weapons, I would not have enough money to have to afford this rifle so early. I mean, the whole system is just... strange. Like, it, it's counterintuitive. I mean, if you actually spend money to upgrade your weapons, then you can't afford the better weapons. 
In fact, you shouldn't spend money to, to upgrade weapons because you pick up a lot of better weapons as you play the game. So you really shouldn't buy anything from the shops at all, except for the for the spectre weapons that you can't get anywhere else. Alright, more loot, more loot, great. And that, I believe, is the end of this. Uh, there's still that other thing on the map that we have to pick up. I might not have time to do Garrus, the Garrus mission, right now. We'll probably leave that until later. And by later, I mean in the next video, not this video. Or maybe I can. Shouldn't take that long. Uh, where's my car? Alright. Quick, get in the car before you freeze. Um, straight west. We need to go. Demolish stuff along the way, sure, why not? And fall off the mountain along the way. Save the game and drive that way. Down one mountain and up the other. We should probably go up here. I think. Um, yeah, okay, that works. Sure, that works. And I follow the follow the you know follow the mountain range. Follow the follow the. Uh, okay. Come on. Got no. Ah, uh, wow. Well, that's not working, is it? Never mind. Not following the mountain range. Maybe we can surf this mountain here. There we go, that's better. I can't see a thing by the way. 